In many ways, St. Basil was an interesting man. Many of us are familiar with his name, his icon, and that he played a major role in the formulation of Orthodox theology in the 4th century. Indeed, St. Basil played an active and pivotal role in the explanation of the teaching of the Council of Nicaea about the person of Christ, and his work on the Holy Spirit was crucial to demonstrating the divinity of the person of the Holy Spirit. We are also familiar with his voluminous writing and twice daily preaching, and his composition and ordering of liturgical texts and practices. But to limit his relevance to these major contributions is to miss something of value. St. Basil was a man of the world in an authentically Christian sense. He interacted with the world around him to bring Christ to that world and that world to Christ. He gave himself to learning the wisdom of this world, excelling in his formal education and becoming a lawyer and a teacher of rhetoric before he dedicated himself to the study and teaching of theology. In doing so, he reminds us that all that is true comes ultimately from God and can reveal something about God. He embraced monastic life after his baptism as an adult, and the monastic rules he composed for his monks were an inspiration not only for Cenobitic monasticism in the East, but were a direct inspiration to St. Benedict as he developed his rule for monks in the West, balancing the life of prayer with the hard work required to support community life. It wouldn't be a stretch to say that without the writings and example of St. Basil, monasticism in the West which preserved and continued Western culture through the Dark Ages, would not have taken off as it did, and the world we live in today would be drastically different. Basil knew how to speak truth to power, taking on the political authorities of his day in defense of the rights of the Church and of the less privileged. During his episcopacy in Caesarea, he laid the seeds for the Church's social service infrastructure by founding soup kitchens and hospitals for the care of the needy and he funded these with his family wealth. He also undertook campaigns for reforming and rehabilitating criminals and prostitutes. Even in his theological debate with opponents of Orthodox teaching, he strongly defended the true faith proclaimed by the councils of Nicaea and Constantinople, while at the same time being able to see the good in his opponents, willing to compromise on lesser matters as long as the truth was not compromised. He did not fight to fight he fought to win people over to truth. St. Basil's efforts ultimately were rooted in unconditional love for God, for the truth, and for human beings. Far from being just a theologian, he was a man of the gospel in all aspects of his life, and is a fine example for us, teaching us how to advance the kingdom of God by bringing Christ to the world and the world to him. Человеческий, обычный, он просил и